Refreshing Stories. My name is Hiroshi. I work as an attendant at a company called Scott Bank. Sadly, I don't have a girlfriend right now. But I have a lot of friends, and I'm living happily. Phew! I'm finally done with working for the morning. Now next I have to- Oh! There's Bunta! Hey, Hiroshi! This is my co-worker and friend, Bunta. I've known him since college, and we always hang out on the weekends. Are you going somewhere, Bunta? Yeah, there's a client I'm seeing tomorrow, so I'm gonna get ready for the meeting. I see. And he's a big-time entrepreneur, so if the meeting goes well, I'll probably get a promotion. So I want to get ready for it, you know? Makes sense. Good luck, Bunta. Thanks, man. All right. See you later, then. Bye-bye! Bunta seemed to be hyped for his meeting, but... Hmm... Our sales for today. $20,000. That's not bad. All right, now to check our client list. We can just sell the info of some of our poor clients on the black market. <laughs> you evil man, you! <laughs> this is just business. Besides, I wouldn't sell these crappy products if I still had a moral compass. And people who buy our products are just stupid. If get-rich-quick schemes were real, then everybody would be rich. Apparently, they were running a pyramid scheme and trying to get money by scamming people into buying their products. Yeah, and nowadays, social media is a great tool for finding more clients. Yeah, I can't thank the internet enough. Oh, by the way, didn't you have a meeting with the bank soon? Oh yeah, that's tomorrow. If I do manage to get the bank to invest in us, we'll be swimming in money for a while. We wouldn't have to worry about anything. Yeah, we're gonna disappear as soon as we get investment from the bank, right? That's right. The IRS is catching on to our business, so we're gonna have to declare bankruptcy before things get bad for us. Then we'll just start another company when we need more money. You're a genius! I'm going to follow you forever! Apparently the entrepreneur that was coming to our bank was a scam artist named Sagi Numa, but he's very good at hiding his identity, and Bunta couldn't tell that he was a scammer. All right. I'll let you know if we can give out a loan to you guys. Yep, thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, hey, Bunta. Did you just come out of that meeting you were talking about yesterday? Yeah, just ended. It ain't a very large company, but the sales are good, so I'm sure we can give them the loan. That's great. By the way, what's the company called? I think it's called Soggy Numa Channels. That sounds like the name of a crappy YouTube channel. <laughs> Their name might not be the best, but the CEO was a nice guy. I was happy to see that Bunta felt good about his meeting, but I had a bad feeling about the company he was dealing with. And unfortunately, it turned out that I was right. Man, that was so easy. That guy at the bank. I forgot his name, but he's such an idiot. He just believed everything I said. Well, this secures our loan, so all I have to do now is to get ready to run far from here. S sir what should we do? Huh? What's going on? W well one of our new recruits screwed up and one of our clients is threatening to sue. And he says he's going to report us to the police. What? Damn it. We're about to get our loan too. This isn't good. Can't you do anything about it? Well, he said if we don't want him to call the cops on us, then we need to give him back the money that he's already paid. Damn it. I wouldn't normally do this. But desperate times call for desperate measures. How much do we owe this asshole? I looked it up earlier, and it's a hundred thousand dollars. You're kidding me, right? No, I'm not. You know how we have a subscription plan for one of our products, right? He was in the most expensive plan that costs fifteen hundred dollars a month for five years. What? I made this plan as a joke. I didn't think anyone would actually buy it. God, I know it's weird for me to say. But how the hell did it take him five years to realize that this was a scam? Well, what are we going to do, sir? Well, we don't have that kind of money on us right now. We're gonna have to make that money somehow. Oh, yeah! Wait, where are you going, sir? I'm going to the bank. I'm gonna ask them if we can get our loan now. Um, uh, my name is Sagi Numa. I was just here earlier to talk about taking out a loan from here. Oh, hey, Mr. Sagi Numa. What's up? Oh, you're that guy from earlier. I was wondering if we could get the loan, like, right now. I can't tell him the truth. He won't give us the money if I do that. I thought of a new business idea, and I just couldn't wait, you know. You know, time is of the essence for businesses. So I wanted to see if we could get the money right away. 
I see. But right now, we're going through an examination process. So you're just gonna have to wait until... But can't you do something about that? Well, I can ask my superiors if they can expedite the process. But I can't promise you nothing. Oh, okay. Damn it, what should I do? Wait, that guy looks young. But he has a really nice car, and it's custom made too. I don't think a guy his age could afford a car like that. That probably means his parents are rich. Wait, I have an idea. All right, time for lunch. It's great that I can ride my car to restaurants for lunch. Let's head to that pizzeria that I always go to. Where is he going? Whatever. Right now, I'm riding a black BMW while wearing a black suit. And people have always told me that I look scary, so I probably seem like I'm with the Yakuza. I'll crash my car into his, and I'll make him pay me. A few minutes later, all right, I'm finally here. This place has the best pizza. What should I get today? Whoa! That was really loud! Hey! What the hell did you do, you bastard? Huh? Who's this dude? You crashed your car into mine, didn't you? How are you gonna make this right, huh? I don't know what you're talking about! My car was parked! Shut up! You better pay me for damages! Um, let's just call the cops first. I can't let this dude do that! Hey, I don't think that's the best idea. I have a lot of friends in the police force, you know? They're gonna say that you crashed your car into mine. What? Then what am I supposed to do? Well, if you can get me $100,000 by the end of the day, I'm willing to look past this. And if you can't do that, I know somewhere you can make that money in a few months. Fine. I can get you the money, but I need to get back home first. I see. But I don't want you to run, so let me follow you back home. I can't believe this is happening to me. And 30 minutes later, this is my house. Man, this is an amazing house you live in. I knew you were rich, but I didn't expect this. If this is where he lives, then maybe $100,000 isn't all I can get from this guy. Come in. Thank you. Welcome back, sir! What? I thought you had work today, sir. Oh, a lot happened. I just needed to get me $100,000. Yes, sir! Uh, what's going on here? I'm really sorry. We're getting the money for you right now. Yeah, uh, take your time. What the hell is this? These guys must be part of the Yakuza! Hey, Hiroshi. What? Don't you have work today? Why the hell are you back home? Oh, hey, Dad. Well, I hit this guy's car with my car, and I invited him back here because I need to pay him for the damages. What? I'm very, very sorry about my son. Could I ask for your name, please? It's Saginuma. Mr. Saginuma, huh? Don't be nervous. We're obviously going to pay you back for what my son did. So just sit tight. Uh, no, no, I'm really sorry. I pretended like I was with the Yakuza, but I'm just a business owner. And one of my workers messed up. And I just needed some money to save my business from being reported to the cops. The bank wasn't going to pay me for another week, and I was desperate. I wasn't trying to pick a fight with you guys, I swear. Whoa, what are you talking about? Calm down. Uh, I I'm really sorry. I'm gonna quit my job, and I'm gonna stop scamming people, so please don't kill me! Please, you need to calm down. My father wouldn't hurt you, don't worry. What? But what about all of these people in the black suits? Aren't you guys a part of the Yakuza or something? Well, my father might seem scary, but he's just a CEO of a bank. And these people are just the guards that we hire. Really? Oh, thank God. Huh? Wait, I think I've heard of the name Sagi Numa before. Hmm. Oh wait, are you the CEO of Sagi Numa Channels? Wait, how the hell do you know about me? Wait, now that I think about it, he had his car parked in the bank's parking lot, and if his dad is the CEO, that means this is the house of Scott Bank's CEO! I knew it! You have a loan request at our bank, right? And by the sound of it, you're dabbling in some shady business. What is it that you do exactly? What? I don't think I said anything like that! You did! You said you needed money so that you can stop someone from reporting your company to the cops. That means you're doing something illegal, right? I see. I understand what's going on now. Mr. Saginuma, we can't give you the loan. I don't know why you did it, 
But we can't lend our money to someone that would intentionally crash their car. What? But we need the money! Please, sir! And besides, that's the least of your worries, isn't it? What? Bunta isn't stupid enough to give a loan out to a shady company like yours. And the fact that he was considering giving out a loan to you guys means that you gave him fake documents about your company. If that's the case, you could be arrested for fraud. And you also blackmailed me. So if I reported this to the police, they would have to investigate that too. Fine, I'll give the money up, so please don't report me to the police! I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to report you. I can't let you scam more people. By the way, all of our rooms have cameras with microphones attached to them. So everything you said here is on record. So you can't run from this. Please, I'll never do something like this ever again! I'll live my life the way you want me to! Well, if you want to change, then I think the police can help you with that. No! And afterwards, the police investigated the offices of Saginuma Channels. They found evidence of fraud and blackmailing, and all of their employees ended up behind bars. But this wasn't the worst of it. All of their former clients started a class action lawsuit against them. And even after they got out of jail, they were forced to pay damages to everyone they stole from. God, I can't believe they were a bunch of scammers! I know I should have checked, but I got yelled at by my boss because of them! That was just unlucky, Bunta. Let's go grab a drink tonight. My treat. Come on. Keep your head up. Thanks, Hiroshi. I'm in the mood for a French course meal. Hey, that's not fair! I'm not paying for you if we go somewhere that expensive! <laughs> I'm only joking. Let's just go to our usual bar. Yep. Now that the internet is a fundamental part of our lives, there's scams everywhere. Remember, if something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Please be careful not to get scammed by people like Saginuma. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!